Well, there was no live stream last night because there was no update. I failed when reading the patch notes to realize that it was dated the 18th of September, which is actually today. And it actually said here the 18th, and then it said the schedule was the 19th at UTC zero or the 18th at uh, 8 p.m. Now, this is just a mistake of mine. I plain and simple. I, there's no other reason other than I, just a mistake. Well, there is an, uh, an explanation for why uh, the update wasn't yesterday as it usually is. But essentially the reason why I missed it and why a lot of people missed it is because 99% of the time the updates are on Tuesdays. So I just assumed that the schedule was the same, but I should have realized by just looking at the numbers that it didn't quite add up. And the reason why it doesn't add up is because there's a holiday right now in Korea. It's Chuseok, which is like a autumn festival. Um, and basically, it's a, it's a day off for people that work uh, in Korea. Uh, so that they can spend time with their families, etc. And so that's why the update is, is tonight instead. So yes, you have one extra day to prepare for the X23 and Dakin mega update that's going to just completely radically change Marvel Future Fight forever. Uh, but jokes aside, yeah, the update is tonight. The update is about uh, 13, 13 hours, 13 to 14 hours after I release this video, uh, the night of. And so, yes, I, again, I'm, I'm saying it again. It sounds like a broken record. I will be live here on YouTube, re, you know, checking out the update. That That is actually happening tonight. It's actually really happening tonight, Wednesday, which is today for me right now um, at 8 p.m. Pacific, a.k.a. 11 p.m. Eastern. All the same things still apply. Uh, I still think the update's going to be about half an hour early. Uh, you should save at least one of your world boss runs so you could try to get X23's potential uh, and, and all that, all that other stuff. However, some things were already added to the game, which uh, added to the confusion because, as you can see, there's a new event quest with the tokens uh, for the uh, emblems. The emblems are right here. Um, I'll, I'll talk about this briefly, but it's not what I want to focus on for the rest of the video. So as far as these emblems go, unfortunately, the best emblem is the Corvus emblem. And because you only get 300 tokens up front, that means you actually have to buy. Uh, it should pop up here, but you have to buy one of the packs here. You have to buy this pack here for $28 to get an extra 100 tokens because you only get 300, I believe, from doing all of these uh, quests. And you need 400 if you want to pick up Corvus's artifact. You need to spend a lot more than that. Uh, you have to spend like $80 if you want to get both artifacts. Uh, but the reason why I'm, I'm referencing or mentioning uh, Corvus's specifically is because when you scroll down and you take a look here, Proxima's only applies to World Boss and it increases energy attack. Two things I want to note here. Not that energy attack characters are bad by any means. Like energy attack characters are very, very good for World Boss. But in particular for players who are not pushing too high, but want to be able to tackle Black Swan and tackle uh, Corvus, both of those World Boss Legend Pluses, which drop the most Carbonadium, as you'll soon see, both of them are speed types, which means that they take the most damage from combat types. Combat types, 99.9% .9 of the time, unless your name is Iron Fist, they deal physical damage, so that they scale based on physical attack, not energy attack. So, a little bit wonky there, I'm not sure why they did that. But the Corvus one is better because not only is it physical attack, but it just has no uh, game mode that it's applied to, which means it applies to all game modes. So this artifact, uh, this emblem, sorry, is good for PvE. It's good for PvP. It's good for any future game modes like that zombie uh, defense multiplayer game mode they're going to announce or they're going to release soon. So, yeah, unfortunately, the Corvus one is the best. Again, I, it's... It should still be available. It should still be available through the actual World Boss Legend Plus stage if you get to 50 and up. However, we have no way of confirming that because no player has been able to get to stage 50 yet. So we'll have to wait and see. The rest of the sales here for this uh, for these tokens, they're not bad, but they're not really great either. Uh, the, the emblem chest seems pretty good, but you can only buy one of them and it's 150 tokens. Uh, I wouldn't get either the 4-star or the 5-star event uh, artifact token, even though there's not that many uh, here, because you don't get to choose and it's random. And then there's a little bit of a visual error. It says that it's a 5-star artifact selector for 350 tokens, but it shows you a 4-star artifact right here. It's only got 4 stars. When you click on the magnifying glass, you can see that they're 5-stars, and you can actually I've confirmed that, that you do get a 5-star. 
So it's just a, a visual error. Uh, I guess whoever they have that's new there, that's working these kinds of things, doesn't really recognize uh, the difference. It is what it is. It's kind of awkward, but hey. Uh, and then the last two are not worth it at all. I would stay away from the last two. I guess if you have extra tokens and you have to spend them before the end of the event, you could pop this chest a couple times, but I wouldn't spend all of your tokens here. I would spend all of your tokens on like a guaranteed reward. Either, either pick up Proxima's emblem or uh, I guess the artifact. No, you can't even get the artifact selector for free. You could do the five star and the four star, I guess, for 250 and have 50 left over. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of, of the random artifacts because, by the way, there's 200 artifacts in the game now. So, yeah, I also don't think this chest. Oh, it's definitely not going to be updated with DAC and an X23. So, yeah, oh, there are, but there aren't 200 in here. There's only these ones, huh? Okay, so this, this is a, a bit more of an attractive option. Yeah, I would say if you don't care about the Proxima emblem, then I would say, yeah, the four star and the five star artifact chests are actually pretty good because you have a decent chance of getting Wolverine or Deadpool. And both of them have quite strong artifacts. You have two meta characters here. You have a couple off, like, semi-meta characters with Iron Man and, and Doom. And then you have a good support artifact with uh, Dazzler. So, yeah, that's actually not bad. The other thing that got added to the game as a new thing is in World Boss. This wasn't in the patch notes, but you can see it. It'll probably pop up for you when you first go to World Boss, but you can also see it as a little trophy icon just next to Black Swan's uh, nameplate there on the, on the right uh, with a little dot. And it has a 20-day, two-hour thing on it. If you click it, it'll pop up these event missions. Now, these event missions are all brand new. We've never seen this before. And all of these rewards on the left side of the track are free. So if you just if you just unlock world boss, uh, just just go to this page, you automatically get half a million gold. Pretty cool. And then if you just do your dailies, right? So every day you're gonna get a different reward because it's it's slotted every five clears. And this is whether you do world boss ultimate, world boss legend, or world boss legend plus. So you don't have to worry about the difficulty. Uh, but yeah, you get some tier two materials, you get some more gold, you get some tier three materials, you get a book selector, you get more gold, you get some tier four materials, and then you get a Vashanti book. That's actually really good. So this is all absolutely free, which is cool. The other thing I want to talk about is that there's a track on the right side. That's the premium track. You know how Netmarble loves their sales. And this sale is actually deceptively good because you look at it at first and you click this and you're thinking, okay, well, how much does this cost? Okay, this is $14 Canadian. It's $10 US. You can see the track here. Okay, ba 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 ba. So you're like, okay, I get 100 extra carbo. I get 200 extra carbo. And I get like 400 extra Soul of the Faltein. And you're like, eh, 200 Carbo, 300 Soul of the Faltein, or 400 and 300 Crystals. Uh, I don't think that's worth the, uh, the, the, the price tag. And you would be right. Except for the fact that they advertised this very poorly, as Netmarble is wont to do at times. And they forgot the most important part. It's right there. Obtain 20% more growth materials from World Boss for 14 days. Yeah. So you don't get Soul of the Falteen from World Boss. It doesn't drop. But Carbonadium and Life Seed does drop. So we've done the math on this. And I'll actually buy this now and show you. But if you, you get, you're going to get, if you play World Boss Legend, especially if you play World Boss Legend Plus, if you play Black Swan or Corvus every day, you're probably going to get an extra 700 Carbonadium over that two-week period. That's an extra 350 per week. Um, which is like an extra couple of runs a day. So you getting this is basically getting an extra world boss run uh, every other day. Or, or actually, it's almost like getting an extra world. No, yeah, it's like it's like getting two extra world boss runs a week kind of thing. Um, and then you also get the rewards on the track. So in that case, I think the math works out to about a thousand carbonadium and then 400 soul of the Faltine. And then whatever life seed um, and crystals. And more life seed than what it's offering because it's a 20% increase on whatever drops. I'll show you what that increase looks like. I'm going to buy this right now. But I just wanted to point this out to you that it's without the 20% increase, it's actually a bad offer. With the 20% increase, it's actually a good offer. But of course, because they uh, you know, advertise this very badly, you have no idea. So you actually kind of need someone to test it out for you. Anyways, okay. So I picked up the World Boss Mission Upgrade Pack, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So there we go. It's applied now. So now I'm getting 20% on top of the 15%, right? Because remember, this has, see? So now instead of saying, it's funny, you can actually see it right here. So my camera's hiding it, but right here, it says 15%, right? It says 15% life seed 
and 15% carbon adium. Those are the regular rewards. Those are the progression rewards that they introduced a while back. These ones right here, these progression rewards, right? But then with the thing that I just bought, it bumps that up. And you can see now, you can see it says 35%. So you're getting 35 extra soul of the foul teen, 35 extra carbo, and then 20% on all of the other stuff. All right, here we go with the first one, Black Bolt. Uh, I don't think I've ever shown you guys like the, the full five clears that I do for this world boss, but I try to keep most of them fairly easy and fairly straightforward. And then we do one we, where we kind of push uh, the limit a little bit here. But in general, you got to bring kind of like two DPSs because you need someone to break the shield for Black Swan, and then you need somebody to then swap in and do all the burst damage. But yeah, definitely more difficult, more tedious, I would say, than um, Corvus and Proxima. I was trying to refresh for Corvus and Proxima, but I couldn't get it. Here, I really like using Thanos because he continues to hit her and he can tank all this damage. So you can keep on, uh, you can keep that blue bar up, although the blue bar doesn't go very high until it's red you can still allow you know it still allows you to do that so you can kind of squeeze in some extra damage i basically just try to optimize these runs to go as fast as possible on stage nine because i'm not really a big fan i'll be honest of the black swan uh world boss legend i think um it was a cool idea but i don't think it was executed that well especially considering how difficult it is and since the rewards are not much better, like I would much rather play Corvus and Proxima. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm a little bit late with the swap here, so we're not going to be able to fully saturate the damage, but she's also going to cut me off as uh, Black Swan does. She also has a lot of phase changes, which is annoying. I think Corvus and Proxima only have two phase changes, which is quite a bit better. Um, yeah, I, I think too many phase changes with the bubble is actually bad because it can actually ruin your run. If you're having a good run and she iframes you when other her shield would have otherwise broken, you basically missed out on so much damage. So yeah, we get that one done here. Now we can see the drops. Should be good. Uh, should be in the 60s for Carbonadium because of that 20% uh, increase. So you can see there, okay, that's exactly 60. All right, that's, and then you got 47 life seed. And then you can see everything else is yellow because it's all being in increased. It's almost 200 black antimatter. So if you do this five times a day for two weeks, it doesn't seem like a lot on a single run, right? On a single run, you're like, you know what, Alex? This is not that good. Uh, for sure, on a single run, it seems bad. But then if you multiply this by five and then you multiply it by 14, that's when you're getting uh, you know, a pretty good uh, return on uh, your investment. Now, again, I know not everybody is a spender in this game, for sure. I'm not encouraging you to spend. But for those of you that look for like the best deals in terms of like the the amount of carbo carbonadium you get per dollar this is one of the better deals that we've seen in the game um besides things like the uh the tier 4 bingo which we don't obviously get all the time it's like a, a rare thing it's like a limited time thing only around like special events let's pop off here with uh with venom let's go baby let's get down to that uh let's just you the nice thing with with um with Black Swan, at least is you can cutscene skip, right? Like if you do enough damage, you can cutscene skip, which is pretty good. It's just annoying that she has so many iframes and she kind of dodges you for so long. I think, like I again, I, I think it's a good idea for a boss. It's just implemented poorly. I think what they should have done is they should have lowered her HP to compensate for the fact that she does all this shit because it just makes the fight very stressful. And it's weird because if you compare the difficulty of this fight to, okay, and there's also some bugs that they, some kinks that they haven't worked out yet. Look at that weird ass shield, whatever that's doing. I don't know, dude. There's some really funky stuff going on here. I guess Venom did too much damage too fast. Who knows? Uh, she's gone. There we go. Um, yeah, I th like compared to the Corvus fight, this is so much harder for no reason. It's It's very, very strange. Let's see the second drop here. Uh, so there we got 60 again. Okay, pretty funny. Uh, no CTPs, though. All right, let's see the Hulk rewards here for the Stage 9 clear. Hopefully, we see another 60 or 60 plus. Maybe we see something else juicy, some Life Seed. And there you go. We get 58. Okay, so yeah. Again, you do the math on this, and over time, over five runs a day, over 14 days a week, it ends up being worthwhile, but I wanted to bring this to your attention because otherwise it's buried in a mountain of like 
stuff that you're just not paying attention to. Anywho, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys tonight on the live stream. Don't miss it. Smash the like button if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you, like I said, in the next one. Take care.